is KPIX Eyewitness News at 6. And a Bay Area doctor with a controversial way to treat asthma. The medical community has doubts, but his pa patients swear by it. So we came here, and uh, it was like a miracle. If you have difficulty catching your breath, a doctor in the East Bay says he may be able to help. A physician in Hayward says he cures asthma patients on a regular basis and he can prove it. But as Ben Williams reports, his methods are so controversial, other doctors won't even try them. Dr. Jacob J. Robbins has been practicing medicine nearly half a century. For the last 28 years, he's been a maverick. He said he's charted his own course when he started treating asthma patients because his way was more successful than methods touted in the medical books. And his patients back him up. We came here and uh, it was like a miracle. Within two weeks, I was running. I was, well, I was reborn. I um, was doing things I'd given up 20 years ago. What he does works, and it works now. You know. What is your success rate with asthma patients? Well, with uh, un, uh, uncomplicated asthma, it's 100%. Has uh, anybody under the age of 20? And of course, they don't smoke. Dr. Robbins says the secret of his success is the way he uses aminophylline, a drug widely used in the treatment of pulmonary disorders, but nearly always given by slow drip methods. Dr. Robbins says that's wrong. It should be given in a larger dose by injection for quick infusion. I give 100 milligrams or 125 milligrams very rapidly. And that is, uh, and by giving it rapidly, it apparently stimulates the respiratory center to open the bronchial tubes. Doctors admit that although asthma is widely known, it is not well understood. And deaths from asthma are increasing annually. 6,000 people died of the disease last year. Don Bell said he was so disabled by asthma he couldn't work for four years. He said he felt near death when his wife found out about Dr. Robbins. I knew the, the end wasn't too far off because I had deteriorated to a point that uh, it was a struggle just to get through each day. You do have that fear, you know, is this just a dream? You know, is this real? Is the relief here real? But it is, you know? And I'm just grateful and thankful to Dr. Robbins. <laughs> Dr. Robbins says even though he has written two books explaining and defending his use of aminophilin as the primary drug in treating asthma, his work has largely been ignored. Some doctors say there are textbook reasons for not using Dr. Robbins' methods. Many people are shying away from the use of aminophilin as a drug which, although it has some efficacy, has far greater toxicity than any of the other medications that we use conventionally. I've given it a quarter of a million times, and I've never had a single uh, bad effect. Dr. Robbins' patients feel so strongly about his methods that a group of them have banded together to try to get doctors at local hospitals to try them. They say they're hoping that the J.J. Robbins treatment for asthma gets the fair test it deserves. In San Francisco, I'm Ben Williams, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Dr. Robbins says he wants to retire, but he says he doesn't want to leave his patients until he can find another doctor willing to take over his practice using his methods. Barbara.